episodes was a piece of work. And it was only today when I was looking at the notes. That really started in 2011? Yeah, yeah, it did. Incredible. Because the two guys who wrote it, um, it, took, it took 18 months basically between each series because it took quite a while to write. wanted to write everything before we started. Mm. Um, they're David and Jeffrey. I played David. Tams and Greg played Jeffrey. David, uh, glass half full. Jeffrey, the glass is an idiot. <laughs> it's not even a glass. It's not even a glass. Yeah, uh, yeah it was a treat. It was a treat to be in because so, it was so well written. I mean, so David good. Crane created Friends, yeah. so he knew what he was doing, yeah. obviously. And he'd worked in network television in America for years and so yeah. had a lot to get off his chest about how it works and what he didn't like about it. So he was sort of getting revenge on the whole network scene. Yeah, Working with Matt LeBlanc, uh, who turned out to be an absolute star, didn't take himself seriously, took the work seriously, just what you want in a, right. in a, mm. someone you work with. Yeah. Uh, the only downside was for a show set in L.A., we shot most of it in Wimbledon. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? Doesn't it? We spent a lot of time Rubbish. in convertibles at three in the morning <laughs> <Yeah>. pretending <laughs> yeah. we were really warm. It's freezing cold in a February uh, Wimbledon. Oh, what? There's a scene, I, I guess it's in, in, in the first uh, series where... I, I, I've not seen it for a long time, mm. but you're pulling into a, the studio lot or somewhere and the, the the American security guard comes out and the actor who plays him, I've seen him in a lot of British stuff mm. to the point where I went, oh, they filmed that here. Then. Yeah, that was, that was Surrey. <laughs> <laughs> that was in Surrey. They put they CGI'd some palm trees in the background. I don't know the history of, of, of the show as in as in why. Was there... Because it's, it's about... Uh, some British people who create a show that come to America to do the American version of it. Mm -hmm. but that could have been an American show. It could have been filmed like an American sitcom, mm -hmm. but it's deliberately a British feel show. It's a BBC show, right? It's BBC and Showtime. Right. So it was a co-production made by Hattrick, which is a British mm. production company. So, yeah, I suppose it had a British feel to it. But was that always the plan when they wrote it? Do you yeah, think? they wanted to... I suppose, that how do you show what the American industry is like? The easiest way is to get two people who don't know anything about it so the viewer at home gets to learn about it as they get to know about it. So we've created this show about an Ameri a British boarding school. It's been a big hit in the UK. They transfer it to, and it's starring um, Richard Griffiths as the headmaster. They then transfer it to America, make them turn it into a, about a hockey coach, call it Pucks, and <laughs> Matt LeBlanc has to play. So they completely ruin it from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Pucks uh, is perfect, though, isn't it? Pucks, That's a great yeah. name. Um, so, yeah, we have us two idiots wandering through Hollywood trying to work <laughs> out, you know, the scene, how it works. I mean, America is... The TV industry, it feels like death by encouragement. Everyone tells you <laughs> how great everything is going to be and how great you're going to be and what a massive star you're going to be. Yeah. And ten minutes later, you're on a plane back home <laughs> wondering what went wrong. Somebody said, I can't remember who it was, somebody said, you never have a bad meeting in LA. Oh, no, everything's so positive. Everything is excellent and you're no going to be one, the next big thing. No one can believe how excited they are <laughs> about everything. I got told that years ago. Right. Um, somebody, some guy, some exec of a big production company just come yeah. back from LA, he had meetings. I said, how was it? He went, oh, oh, great. I mean, they're always great. That's the thing. You never have a bad meeting. And fast forward a few years later, mm. I'm sat at an agency with literally the guy who runs the agency and then all the heads of whatever. Yeah. And they're discussing how great I am. And we should call Terry at Fox. You know who'd like Chris? Sarah Comedy Central would. Oh my God! They went. How long are you? How long are you here for before you go back? I was on like uh, vacation, holiday, and they're like, "Listen, this is this is. Oh my God! We got to get some set up. I've never heard from them since. Like literally, <laughs> no. Never Why do heard they do that? Since. They just flannel. It's all 